a video on how to crimp some Cat7 Ethernet cables. You're going to need crimping tool, scissors, some wire cutters, pliers, some electrical tape, the actual ends of the Ethernet. I've got gone for some very nice shielded ones, so for Cat7. The actual cable itself that has been cut to size. And of course the terminator thing which you can strip the cable with. So I'm just going to strip the cable now with the terminator tool. So I'm just going to put it in for the first one because it's quite a thick cable. And then you just go around once all the way and not another time because you could cut the actual shielding inside. So once I've done that, let's pull it off, and as you can see, it's got the first layer of mesh kind of foil. All my wires are different colours. So I'm just going to peel off the mesh thing on the side. Probably about to the length of the actual termination. Like so. Yeah, just cut it off with some scissors. Try and not cut the actual wires or cable because then you're in a pickle. Just go around cutting off the mesh. And now each individual pair of wires, I need to get the foil off them. So what I seem to do is actually untwist it whilst you're doing it and the foil comes off really easily. It may take some time. As you can see I've just fast forwarded this bit. After you've taken the foil off each pair, then you untwist each pair so you get the individual wires on their own. Now order the wires into the configuration that you would like. Now for home use, you want to use the B configuration. So for the B configuration, you want it from left to right, holding the contacts of the Ethernet up. It goes brown, brown white, green, blue white, blue, green white, orange, orange white. Now that's for home use. If you're in a business place or office, you'd be using the A configuration or even a crossover. But at home you don't need to worry about that and you just need to do the B configuration. The Ethernet I received has different colours. So as long as the wires are the same at each end, it really doesn't matter in terms of home use. And technology these days is so good that it can figure it out for itself anyway. Now once you've got them in the desired order, make sure none of them are overlapping. and get some pliers to kind of hold them in place. Once you've done that, get your wire clippers and just clip it off because you want to actually get part of the cable inside the termination. 
and it actually makes it easier for the um, wires to go into the termination. So I've got it in the order I want. I get my termination. Face it up or in, in the order you want. Let's have a closer look, make sure it's in the order. And each wire should go in their own individual channels. You'll feel a resistance when you push it in, and that means it's going in the channels. So let's put it in. get it the right way up and what I do is I push it in and you can see the it going down the individual channels and as you can see I've um, chopped off some more cable because the actual outer layer of the cable can't fit inside but that depends on the size of your termination I'm just going to push it in more, get some pliers, flatten that mesh bit that's sticking out. Now, once, once you're pretty sure you've pushed it in the most, and you can see the actual wires on the end, in the end, as you can see there, just above the contacts. Like so. Get the termination tool. you put it in the correct way so you want to put it in where the in the right way so as you can see that's not the right way so put it up so you can see the actual clip go up push it in as far as possible you want the contacts on the other end where it's as you can see look the little teeth and then push as hard as you can and you will hear a little click and that's done that side is done that's pretty secure now, now I'm going to get some electrical tape cut a bit off and to make sure it's secure First I'm going to tape it just to, as you can see, not go further than that clip because then it might get in the actual plug and you don't want that. As you can see, where it starts to dip, that's the max you can do. Now you need to do exactly the same for the other end.
coil it up and ready to test. And that's the most important part of this now, to test them. Thank you for watching my video, please like and subscribe.